Welcome back aboard. Shipshape TV is back on the job. What you're looking at is a 2006 Meridian. It's a 41-footer, and it's been brought here to American Custom Yachts because the owner discovered that the stringers for the engine, okay, are wet, and also the swim platform is, has really absorbed a lot of moisture. And the quote to get this done traditionally is like a $70,000 job. But here's the problem. Whenever you do these types of huge scale fiberglass repairs, it's gonna devalue the boat when you go to sell it. You might lose 20, 25% of the value of the boat. Well, what I wanna introduce you to now is a different approach for drying out different areas of the boat, whether they be stringers or the transom or the hull sides. And who we now have on the program is Scott Richmond. And Scott is the vice president of sales with a company called Dry Boat Inc. And Dry Boat is a totally different way to kind of uh, uh, get people's boats back on the water dry mm -hmm. once again. But let's start off, Scott, with this tool right here. And, and I want you to kind of tell us what we were seeing in different areas of the boat. What do we call this? This is a moisture meter. All right. And it's a moisture meter that's used by surveyors who are the people that actually helped us to develop the system. Okay, fantastic. Now, guys, if you take a moisture meter to a typical fiberglass boat and you put it on a good area of the boat, it's going to read probably 15% moisture or down. And mm -hmm. you're in great shape at that spot. Mm -hmm. But what happens if this thing starts pegging, you've got areas and that could start uh, creating rot and maybe osmotic blister. I mean, th th this, there's some big issues here. Mm -hmm. When you put this on the stringers, what were you reading? On this boat, we read from 10 to 24%. Okay, and 24% is not acceptable. No, anything well, above 15% is considered unacceptable and uninsurable okay. also in a sale. What, what about the swim platform? Pegged it. Okay, so, it. So, so again, huge bill. Traditionally, this is a different approach. Let's talk about the tools and the process for you actually uh, mm -hmm. drying the boat out. Okay, again, we use the moisture meter and using the moisture meter, what we'll do is we'll put these stickers with the number, with the percentage of moisture. From that point, we go to a quarter inch drill. That, that's it? That's it. That's all we're gonna use in this instance here is a quarter inch drill. We're going to penetrate those stringers, those bulkheads, and that swim platform to the right depth at the right angles. And then we're going to take these plastic tubes that are inserted into a larger plastic tube. That goes into the quarter inch hole, and we turn the system on. OK, now there's about 10 years of science behind this thing. Well, we celebrated our 10th year last summer, and we've never failed. Have you ever seen a paper towel, guys, going into a glass mm -hmm. and you notice how the moisture, the liquid, actually wicks through it? This is kind of the same process. And, and what happens is wet will always gravitate to dry, mm -hmm. okay? And that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of how it works. And these are very tiny little holes that you fare in afterwards without devaluing your boat at all. You keep the value of the boat. Mm -hmm. It's also very cost effective. Now we talked about a $70,000 estimate to do this job traditionally. Mm -hmm. What would the customer spend uh, percentage wise to have you guys do the job? On this particular application, we're gonna charge him approximately 20 to 25% of the lowest estimate he got to cut out and replace. Holy mackerel. You know, I know that you're based out of Michigan, but you do a lot of work here in Florida mm -hmm. on the Eastern seaboard. Not only mm -hmm. do you have your mobile fleet that, that drives mm -hmm. around, but you also go to remote locations. Maybe Absolutely. it's right in your own backyard or maybe it's right on your own boat lift. We've done that. And um, you, you can actually pack up and go on airplanes and, and, and kind of do this. Yep. How do people at home, if, if they're looking for an alternative to massive fiberglass repairs, how do they get you mm -hmm. and how would a boat yard actually incorporate your service into what they're offering their customers? Give everybody your website. Well, being the first alternative in 50 years to cut out and replace, just contact dryboat.com.